Hey there, everybody. I'm CCB Dolan here with Apathetic Brent, bringing you Hun Reloaded versus Red versus Blue, two of our favorite teams in this tournament. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the setups they brought? Alrighty. Well, Red vs. Blue has bought, brought a Missile Spam plus ECM setup, which is a bit odd and might work in a lot of cases, but against Dominix's, it's probably not the best scenario for them to run into. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dominix is going unbanned once again in the match, and of course, Henry Lily goes, uh, what are you doing? And brings them. Uh, it's going to be a really strong team. Damps so are not going to do very much uh, from the Widow Raven team, uh, trying to do some kiting potentially, uh, as they've warped in both at max distance from the beacon and at opposite uh, beacons as well. Or yep. no. Thankfully, though, no damps towards RVB, which would be something that it would be very weak against. Um, it looks like Hun Reloaded is going to try to take the Flycatcher out right away, which is, generally speaking, a, a damping ship. It's got a lot of utility mids. At the same time, uh, the Dominix of Bubba 12 is taking a pretty decent amount of damage. We'll see if the Guardian's able to keep him up. Uh, I'm not sure why we're not seeing... what. I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't have uh, that they would have damps on the dami and not all of them on the guardian. But I'd probably put every jam I had on that guardian right now, in hopes of taking their DPS down by thirty percent. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, the flycatcher is holding actually though, so uh, I think they got tipped off once more again by that that notorious target painter. Uh, who's the primary? Oh, I think it's the Merlin next. Let's see if reps get on him <laughs> in time. Uh, you can see there's some nos coming across, uh, but. As long as this ECM holds, you can potentially remove some of the DPS of some of these small support ships, but you can't really ECM out a Dominix. That's the biggest problem. Correct. Uh, reps are landing on the Dami, so I think that they should probably spend a little more of their da uh, of their jams to getting that Guardian completely locked out, but they are breaking the Dami, but they need to do it sooner before they lose all of their support ships. Absolutely. And reps are still staying on that Flycatcher. They need to switch reps fast. I don't know if they've just given up everything that's a T1 frigate, saying I can't catch you, catch you in time. Uh, Har both Harpies tackled, Dominix still breaking, but they need to be able to clear this Dominix before all their support is absolutely dead in the, dead, in the, uh, uh, dead at their doorstep. Yep, the Dominix is getting in pretty low armor though, so if they break that, they have a much better chance, and they've got nothing but semi-tanky frigs left, but their scimitar takes a huge chunk of damage Ooh, and is gone! Wow! And that just shows you how dangerous the Alpha from these Sentry Drones and the Dominics are. They can start hitting the Scimitar because of their tracking bonuses and range bonuses. And the Scimitar's normal safety blanket of SIG and speed doesn't do, as, do that much to keep it safe. All right, uh, and looking at the Ravens and Widows, they are not cap transfer fit, so they're going to rely only on their local tank. They're not going to be able to support each other with their ASBs. And with that Guardian still up, and the fact that he's usually getting pretty reliable reps in, I'm not, I don't think that they're going to be able to pull this out. Yeah, and both these Harpies are tackled, so they are for sure dead at this point. Uh, there's not really much that can be done to save them. Uh, but a Dominix also taping deep armor damage. Armor damage. Uh, the Widow's ECM is crushing this Guardian. The fact that this Guardian cannot rep is huge. Yep, but at the same time, this Widow's bleeding into structure. He didn't get his ancillary uh, shield booster off until he was at very low shield, so that's a lot of wasted EHP that he has there, or buffer, rather. But that Dominix is about to go down. That's oh, wow, so close. he's going to hold. Gonna... No, he dies. Oh, he wow. dies. So close. But at this point, we do have two Ravens and a Widow against a single Dominix and a Prophecy and a Support Wing. The issue here is, is that if this Harpy dies, they're not really going to have a good way to deal with all these Assault Frigate holes, but they this will probably be pretty close to being able to defeat this Dami setup. Yeah, exactly. But now we see also uh, potentially the Guardian. So the Guardian is repping this Tyrannus. It is now not taking jams. They shaved the uh, ECM in half by killing one of the Widows. Uh, and now they're in a really, really strong position with all their support that these b battleship missile hulls can't really deal with. Yeah. Well, and I'm looking at the Ravens. They are firing. It looks like he does have a target painter coming from him. So they will have target painters still, even after the, uh, even though all the support's gone. But it, it, this Dominix is just dying so slowly. They really need to break it and break it soon if they want to have any chance of pulling this out. The Widow is broken here. I think that's going to be the end of the story for Red versus Blue. They can't break the Dominix with just two Ravens and an unjammed Guardian. So we were talking before the match about the fact that Widows, while good ships, um, they're not going to be 
super amazing or super effective against the Dominics is because you can't jam out the drones. Um, I'm surprised that that Guardian was able to be so effective throughout the whole match. I'm sure, I'm checking now, but I'm sure he's been running ECCM the whole time, which he has. Um, there's probably projected ECCM coming from other ships as well. Um, but yeah, this has been a really close match. It looks, it looks like the Ravens are switching primary to the Guardian. But, I mean, again, you're shooting cruise missiles at, at a logistics ship. I doubt that they're going to be able to get the thing more than 75% armor before both of the Ravens are dead. Yeah, I completely agree. You see here, uh, Red versus Blue basically seeded half of their support wing with no reps. All four of the Tech 1 frigates died with receiving no shield reps yep. from their scimitar. And their scimitar got annihilated in a, just a few seconds with a few sentry volleys. Uh, and you can't do that and expect your battleship core to carry you when so much is left on the field for Hunter Reloaded. It's funny, this is the first tournament we've had in a while where Alpha is actually something that we have to think about because usually we don't have to worry about if it's a Merlin and it's going to get volleyed from 100 kilometers away, but we've talked extensively this year so far about the fact that your Harpies, your Ishkers, your Enyos, your Hawks, they're all extremely good ships because when you come up against these high Alpha ships, and... and uh, on the other side of that equation, if you have, a, you know, two Widows and two Ravens and a couple Target Painters, you can still do a lot of Alpha to a Frigate. So having Tech 2 resists, higher base HP, it's just a recipe for success in close matches like this where it could go either way at any point. Yeah, exactly. You see the Raven here of Neo Trustin dropping down. Only one Raven going to be left on the field for Red versus Blue. They had a strong showing. I think they've probably... Bringing no, no Dominixes versus three Dominixes. Killed more Dominixes than any other team I've seen. <laughs> yeah. uh, so apparently, uh, if you just have a slightly stronger support wing, maybe switch some stuff up here. Uh, break the Guardian early with ECM. You might have a chance to beat Dominixes. But uh, unfortunately, Red versus Blue, not able to finish off the job. Uh, and it's going to probably be knocked out here with the death of this final Raven. Not that I want to promote the idea, but this Widow Raven comp with the Basilisk could have been a tinker. Yeah. Would, have, would have made it survive a little longer. Please don't ever do that. Don't bring a tinker ever. I don't want to see that. We don't want to commentate on it. But it would have been better off that way. You know what you should do? Uh, when other commentators that aren't me and aren't empathetic, Brent, are absolutely bring, bring tinkers uh, for them. Nothing but tinkers all the time. Yeah, all That's, day. Uh, the all OP day. Setup. They love doing commentary yeah. on tinkers. We don't. We prefer uh, things like uh, Slepners and uh, Vigilance. More so, bring yeah. more uh, shield at gnosis vigilant side style yeah. saps. I, more I like gnosis those. in general. They're cool to look at. Yeah, exactly. They are they are a pretty ship. Uh, Given away to all of our players for Eve's tenth uh, birthday. You actually get, I believe, five of them in our special collector's edition, which oh, is wow. a wonderful pack. You get a BPC worth that runs five of them. Uh, so you can build them up, sell them to your friends, fly them around, destroy stuff. Would uh, you look at that, Michael Bolton? The Ravens dying. There we go. Uh, that's going to be the end of the match as Silas Raven goes to uh, the great beyond for Ravens, uh, known as G. High sec? Yeah, high sec. High yeah, sec. Normally Ravens die in high sec. Uh, we're going to throw it back to CCB Soundwave and the guy in the studio.